And what is the one key thing you got out of her book? What stuck with you? That you have to change the way you think in order to change the life you're living. You have to overcome those childhood blockages that we all carry. And in that way, you then become the person who is ready to meet the man of your poor lady of your dreams. And does, does she have anything in... She has, she's got a workbook to go with her. Yeah, she does have a workbook yeah. that you can so go you through. You should yeah. Repeating the exercises as often as you can to make that a habit. I don't say a habit to be in 30 days. And I can see also having a silver membership, then you then get the support of people, other people that are working for right. okay. There'll be uh, a group of like-minded people also on the relationship quest. You don't have to be looking for a partner. You might want to be successfully single, and that's fine. As Suzanne is. As yeah, very successfully single. single. Yes. Yes, yeah, Suzanne's very successfully single. And that's an important, she says that's an important first step. You yes. have to learn to be single and not just accept a relationship because you feel you should desperate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she also says, just like there's no get rich quick schemes, yeah. there's no get relationship quick schemes. God damn it! God damn it! <laughs> You yeah, you've got a relationship. When you work through the workbook, you will emerge at the other end, cold, free of baggage. Yeah? Do you think that's possible? Yeah. I do. You do? Yeah? And are you convinced it from having... honesty. That is key, isn't it? With yourself. With yourself. And it requires stepping away from blame and yeah. realising that we have all relationships and even if it's been abusive, which there's no excuse.